Hey everyone, it's your boy. Welcome to 2024. And uh, as is tradition, kind of, this is only the second time I'm doing this, but um, I'm doing my Nintendo Switch collection. But just of the games that I collected uh, in 2023. So if you missed last year's video, go watch it. It's in this description. Uh, I don't really know how to put the things up on the screen i mean maybe it'll be up there by the time i do it but um <laughs> by the time this video comes out but uh yeah it's not very a long list this year it was a hard year for your boy last year but that's not a here and there so uh, seven games uh last year when i did my whole switch collection it was like 47 48 around there but i've only added seven games last year so um yeah the switch collection 50-ish games not too bad right not too bad um probably be more this year but who knows because there's rumors of a switch dos a switch 2 so uh we'll see we'll see we'll definitely see if there's a switch 2 i'll be uh getting one eventually because we all know scalpers and all the such and uh money <laughs> if the rumors are true it's sounding like it's gonna be 400 dollars or something like that so you know kind of kind of kind of expensive but you know we got to get one out here. You already know. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, seven games. Only seven. Only seven this time. Not 47. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, let's get to the games. But all right, team. Like I was saying, uh, last year was a hard year for your boy. So there's not many games on this list. So only seven. But let's start off with the biggest one because... Um, I can't fit it on here. It's a uh, Fire Emblem Engage, the Divine Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I actually have an unboxing of this on my channel. If you want to go uh, check it out so you can see the full uh, full uh, details because uh, I can't do it on here. I'm just showing you uh, the games I've collected uh, last year in 2023. But yeah, Fire Emblem Engage, Divine Edition. Uh, this Fire Emblem game was pretty good i haven't finished it but <clears throat> would uh definitely recommend to those who not really ever played a tactical rpg game to give this one a try it's not that hard they made this one much easier than a lot of the rest or at least easier than three houses so yeah definitely i would say check this one out it's still pretty fun even though it's not really a hard game in my opinion um yeah i would say if you have uh never played a tactical rpg definitely um pick up fire emblem engage and if you can find this one for the for the low <laughs> for the cheap uh not too overpriced uh version of fire emblem engage divine edition or just get the regular edition no it's still worth but yeah fire emblem engage divine edition engage up next is another like strategy turn-based tactical rpg kind of game advanced wars one and two reboot camp now uh, i played the originals on the advance i believe it was on <laughs> it's in the name you know advance wars but um if you like those type of games and like war games kind of i mean it's advanced wars you're literally fighting a war i would say definitely get um this game it's actually pretty good uh, I know some people were put off by the art style, but, you know, it's not, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. Like, I would recommend getting this game. This game was delayed <clears throat> twice due to, uh, reasons, but, um, it finally released and, um, I picked it up because I definitely was wanting to play this game, but as you can see, still <laughs> have not opened it because I have like a billion games in my backlog, so uh yeah i haven't been able to play this but i probably will soon but definitely if you like like games like fire emblem this is another alternative to those type of games and definitely worth the pickup uh i believe so anyways um i'm not really turned off by the um how the game looks it's a very cartoony looking s game but advance wars one and two reboot camp definitely I would recommend it for people to pick up. Not a bad game. Not a bad game at all. So, yeah. All right, and next up is another tactical RPG. We're seeing two different themes here, RPG games and um, games that I have not unboxed. <laughs> I 
Uh, yeah. Um, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. I definitely think this game is worth getting if you can find it, uh, or if you can just get it on like an eShop or on any other console that you don't want if you don't buy a physical type game because this game does go on sale. But I would definitely recommend getting this for the Switch. There is 10 Battle Network games. Um, uh, I haven't played this one yet because. Like I said, backlog and uh, I don't know, I need to be in a certain mood to play these type of games sometimes. Like I love Fire Emblem, I definitely like Advance Wars and this, but I need to be in a certain mood to play this. But definitely highly recommend getting the Battle Network games, especially if you've never played them on the Game Boy Advanced, I believe. I know they were also on GameCube because the one on GameCube is the one that I played the most. I'm not sure if that one is on here i don't believe so but i could be wrong <laughs> but yeah mega man battle network legacy collection i would highly highly recommend this game this game is uh awesome like i said i played some of the originals and the one on the gamecube and yeah there's 10 games 10 games in one mega man battle network legacy collection one and legacy collection volume two there's six and four so yeah mega man Battle Network Legacy Collection for the Nintendo Switch. Um, if you can find one physical copy, please buy. Hopefully, this hasn't gotten to uh, hard to find type games. I got it on day one. I had to <laughs> as soon as was, uh, as soon as I heard this was going to be released, I had to get mine. I had to get mine just in case the prices on this game were going to get ridiculous. And I'm not sure because I haven't checked in a while. Like I said, I get mine's day one on release date, but. Yeah, hopefully you guys are able to get this, or at least go on online shop, like an eShop or PS Plus or whatever, and just get it. Especially if it's on sale, definitely highly recommend this game. All right, next up, the theme is going to continue. Triangle Strategy, another tactical RPG. Um, but this one I have played. This is the EU version because they had the Collector's Edition, um, so I wanted that. So I uh, got this, but except this was a birthday gift. <laughs> but um, I got, or I should say I am halfway through this game. And yes, please, if you play a RPG or like a tactical RPG, because it's like Fire Emblem also, stuff like that. If you don't have this game, please go out and get this. Please do yourself a favor. This game is amazing. And then it has the 2D HD thing going on. And, uh... A tactical RPG that will challenge your convictions. Game is amazing. There's like different paths. I don't remember how many or I want to say endings. I don't know if it was three or there was three different scenarios that could occur. And then there's a golden road, I think. Something like that. But to get the golden road, I think you have to beat the game at least once. But like I said, I personally haven't beat the game yet. But definitely from like halfway point where I'm at. Woo! Oh boy! <laughs> It's, uh, it's been going good. I need a new case because this one got messed up. An amazing game on the Switch. I think everyone should play this game personally. Um, one of my... One, this game is just that good. <laughs> I haven't beaten it because, like I said, to play these kind of games, most of the time I really need to be in that type of grind. I don't... Hmm, I want to say grindy type mood, but like, uh, I like to grind in RPGs because I just like being overpowered and any type of rpg game i just like just being almighty almighty and powerful <laughs> but yeah uh definitely would recommend triangle strategy go out and buy it uh if you're like me and you want the collector's edition uh definitely highly recommend uh, i don't know if it's overpriced i like i said this was a gift from my lovely fiance so uh yeah triangle strategy go out and get it all right and keeping on the theme here i got Tales of Symphonia remastered with the homie Lloyd Irving. Um, sealed. <laughs> uh, this one keeps both the RPG and the sealed themes here. But um, I have this on Switch. If you've never played this game, I know there was a lot of controversy because of the... I believe it was the 30 FPS on this version, I think. I don't actually quite remember. But to be honest, this game still looks good. I think if you only have a Switch, just get it on the Switch. Don't worry about that other stuff. It's still an amazing game. Experience the legendary JRPG classic remastered in HD. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, I have the chosen edition that comes with the steel book, which is a really nice steel book. I haven't opened it, obviously. <laughs> and then it also has the art prints and stickers, I believe. But I like keeping my stuff sealed, at least some of my stuff, not all my stuff. But um, definitely, if you have other systems, you know, feel free. If you have the original GameCube version, uh, play it on there, definitely. Uh, I love playing this game when I had a GameCube. Uh, I don't have one anymore, but definitely this is a good alternative. Don't let uh, others or the internet put you down or put you away from getting this if the, you only have a Nintendo Switch. I definitely would recommend this, especially because the story in this game is great. The characters, my boy Lloyd Irving. <laughs> I swear if it's not Lloyd Irving, I don't know what I've been telling myself this whole time, but I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, Tales of Symphonia Remastered, definitely go get this. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get this, um, the, this version of it anymore, because, uh, I pre-ordered mine, because I'm a fan, but yeah, this is the Chosen Edition, I'm not sure if you can, I mean, you might be able to, hopefully not for scalper money, but, um, I got it on the Bandai Namco website. Uh, yeah, Tales of Symphonia Remastered. Highly recommend. I recommend every game because clearly I buy games that I want to play. So I would most, at least 90% of the time, recommend them. But this one, definitely. Because uh, I played this on the GameCube when I was just a wee lad. And now I'm an old man with old man hands. <laughs> but yeah, Tales of Symphonia Remastered on the Nintendo Switch. Definitely worth a buy, in my opinion. And finally, we got a game that's not an RPG, but it has a theme, because it's unopened, but it's uh, Mario Wonder. And uh, yeah, I uh, haven't opened this yet, because I'm playing another game currently. But this game, I will be doing a playthrough up on this channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, a lot of people actually really love this game. People, I assume, or a lot of people assume that people were tired of the classic Mario style, but clearly this is a wonder. <laughs> um, uh, I can't wait to play this. Uh, I'm actually playing another Mario game that's on the channel right now. So um, go watch that. <laughs> but yeah, Super Mario Wonder. Uh, definitely <clears throat> a game that looks really good. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't personally watched anybody play this game, but people do really love it because it is a wonder <laughs> but yeah you can turn into an elephant bubble buble a little bit of the bubble and a drill mario i'm not sure if there's other stuff because uh, i said i haven't really looked it up myself but yeah i am very um excited to play this when i get the chance this will probably be my next playthrough up on here so like i said stay tuned for that if you've played this game let me know what you personally thought of it let me know of any of the games that I've shown today, what you personally think. Do you like any of them? Do you hate all of them? Have you played none of them? Let your boy know. But yeah, Super Mario Wonder is uh, my second to last game that I got last year. <laughs> uh, it was a hard time for your boy. So this uh, video is not that long and there's not many big games here. But let's go to the final game, shall we? Because it's a Mario Wonder. And last but certainly not least... I got Mario RPG. I never played the original, and I am playing this on the channel. There's already a couple videos up. Go watch. <laughs> um, amazing game so far from what I've played. Amazing game. Has my boy Mario, Cloud Man, uh, Pinocchio, Princess Ponch, and Koopa. Yeah, this is such a simple RPG game, but like it just, it's just something about this game that it's just. It's amazing, like, I don't know, just uh, maybe because it's Mario RPG made by um, Nintendo and Square Enix back in the day, but, like, there's just something about this game that I wish there was a second one. I know that Paper Mario was, I guess, the spiritual successor to this, but, like, I don't know, just the simplicity and, like, I don't know, it's just something about this game that just magical or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is definitely at the top of my list of, like, my favorite games that I got this year. It's probably my number one. I'm not quite done with it, but I will because obviously there's a playthrough going on in my channel. But if you haven't picked this up because you're not sure or you um, never really played RPGs 
And uh, I guess I think this would be a, a good introduction. It's not it's not that hard. Sure, there's a little maybe a little grinding here and there, but not really, not really. Um, yeah, definitely Mario RPG. Uh, go out and get this. If this is the only game out of the seven that I've shown you today, I would suggest this one out of all of them. <laughs> like a uh, Triangle Strategy is probably my second of there, and then maybe Fire Emblem in that order. But this is definitely my my number one because uh this game just feels just really i don't know it's just something something special about this game i can't put it into words because uh i'm not really good at speaking <laughs> but um yeah this is a really good game i took out the slip cover because i wanted to show you this little like map never done an unboxing in this game just because it's a very simple game so it doesn't really need an unboxing but you know it's a uh, it's a pretty good and cool looking map. Um, like I said, there's no other really Mario games like this. Like I said, Paper Mario, maybe the original one, which is also getting a remake this year or a remaster. I'm not entirely too sure, but highly super one billion percento recommend everyone go get Mario RPG. Even if it's the only game you can buy, uh, I think it's worth personally. But with that, ladies and gents, those have been my games of a 2023. My collection grew just a, a tea bit, uh, uh, just a little, not uh, anything crazy. Like I said, only seven games last year, at least seven Switch games. <laughs> okay, it's probably other games that I got for like a PS5, but I'm not counting those. I'm only doing the Switch games, but um. Ladies and gents, that was my recent game collections and my um, games of 2023 that I got for the Nintendo Switch. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye!